I was like, what, what is happening? I can't change the camera angle, though. No, no camera angle changing. Go. Sam and Max, check out DeSoto. Hello, and welcome to a bold new reimagining of the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society. Cops. <laughs> Kurt, 286, higher processing, Bob Bell, communications yeah. expert. What are you doing in our car? I said you guys could hang out in our car until you found your own place, but it's been months now. You have been randomly selected to enjoy a free trial of the Crime-Tron XL at no cost to you. <laughs> oh, there it is. Skunk, skunk Ape Crime-Tron Bluster. What happened to that Bluster Blaster machine you used to hang out with? He has traveled with user Vasco to Las Vegas, Nevada. What's an outdated arcade machine supposed to do in Vegas? He doesn't even have any money. Bluster Blaster received a generous workers' compensation settlement upon his termination from Pimplica. <laughs> we cannot comment while litigation is pending. I love that they have, like, hello, my name is on them. <laughs> That's awesome. Are you guys supposed to help us fight crime? Yeah, you're not even as powerful as a cell phone. Max, that was completely uncalled for. With my 1.6 MHZ of raw power, I am able to analyze data at speeds rivaling the most advanced pocket calculators. <laughs> and bleep what bleep. do you do? I'm a functional telephone, and that's about it. <laughs> and that's well, you that's guys is funny. great and all, but could we have our car back? If you'd like to drive somewhere, use the handy city map contained in the glove box. Hey, Sam, isn't our car still possessed by demons? It is not so bad as long as you do not try to run their air conditioner. <laughs> What's this uh, business about a free trial? You have selected to hear more about the Crimetron XL. In a world where thugs and supervillains rule the streets, only the most technologically advanced crime stoppers will emerge victorious. Submit clues gathered from your investigations, and we will analyze the living hell out of them. <laughs> oh my god, this game You guys amazing. should keep an eye on General Skunk Ape. We're pretty sure he's evil. That guy is a total heat sink. <laughs> a real motherboard. We thought everybody else liked that except for us. So-called advanced technology is going to make thousands of hard-working computers and robots lose their jobs. When buying technology, look for the made on Earth label. Wow. See ya, cops. End of line. End of line. Talk to cops, pick up Why jumper jump cables. cables. Neither of us knows how to use them. It's simple, Sam. The red cable goes on the right nipple, and the black cable clamps to Neither the. Neither of us knows how to use them legally, Max. Oh, I see what they were talking about. So we can make a phone call or talk to the cops, but I don't want to do none of those, because why would you, you know? Check out the Soto. Look at the gaping hole. Right, I know we can go over here. Ask about the parking meter. The meter Max? I slaved all day over a hot stove for it, and do I hear one word of thanks? Ah, I see what they did. Feed the parking meter. Ha <laughs> Sam is crazy. Look at Cybill's boxes. It's a good thing Sybil packed all her junk into these boxes for safekeeping. And I'm especially glad we didn't put it in a secure, environmentally regulated storage facility like she asked us to. Yeah, this way's a lot cheaper, and everybody gets to enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see why he keeps running around, because I keep hitting him. Uh, read notice. I can see what it says from here. Uh, talk to Agent Superball. Enter the subway. I definitely think we want to uh, talk to these fools. Hello, sir. Mr. President. <laughs> President, you are the ruler of this planet? Oh no, I'm just President of the United States. We're only one of many United Nations working You're together to here, achieve... Sir. You can speak freely. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm in charge pretty much. <laughs> Perfect. Just the one I wanted to see. <laughs> Keep the hands where we can see him, pal. 
But of course. I have come to your pitiful, beautiful world for a peaceful exchange of technology. All oh, the wonders of the galaxy, yours. <laughs> What's the catch? No catch. <laughs> All I ask in return is your help while my research assistants search for an artifact <laughs> <Hi>. of interest <laughs> to my people. Uh, let's ask about your spaceship. Just wondering, how much do you pay for security on a ship like that? Security? You know, laser grids, explosive time locks, that kind of thing. We're just curious. <laughs> My spaceship and the wonders aboard it are open to all the feeble people of Earth. It's no fun when they don't put up a fight! What about the artifact? What's this about an artifact? It is the eyes of yogg Sogoth. One of hundreds of magical toys scattered throughout the galaxy by the Great Comet. It's believed to give the Holder the power to see the future. What a coincidence! I was just... He was just saying how he wished he could see the future, so he and I would stop showing up to work wearing the same thing. It gets pretty awkward. <laughs> so the artifact I, is, uh, is the thing that he picked up, the little red thing. So, about this artifact... Yes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You have found it? Not as far as you know, but just for fun. Why is it so important to you? It's a legendary treasure, said to give the wielder the power to predict his enemy's every movement, manipulate the economies and governments of weaker worlds, avoid death, find complex solutions to puzzles using unconventional combinations of everyday items, and crush anyone who stands in his way! <sighs> But <laughs> that's all just a myth. I would simply give it away to my nephew in <laughs> Canada. <laughs> so we can just walk right on your spaceship whenever we want? Of course. The miracles of my technology are welcome to everyone, especially to your planet's mole people. What about the Mole Man? What's the story behind your whole Mole Man fixation? <laughs> it's no fixation. General Skunkape is a friend to all creatures of the galaxy. From the greatest ape to the tiniest, most insignificant and pitiable Mole Man. Hey, we know the most insignificant and pitiable Mole Man. On every planet I visit, all of the local mole people are invited to ride my fantastic gamma beam to a wonderful world wow. vacation they'll never forget. <laughs> I don't kill them. <laughs> Where are these fabulous off-world vacations exactly? Why, any planet you can imagine. <laughs> Ludo? That's not a planet, Max. <laughs> you Amazon priestesses bathing in rivers of chocolate and toffee? Um, sure. Why not? <laughs> That's not a planet, Max. Does the general want a banana? I see. Because I resemble your Earth gorillas, you assume I want a banana. I'm glad to see that Earthlings are still so charmingly racist. Oh, Max, that's it. We're just making sure you're getting enough potassium. Uh, Super. What are you doing here, Agent Superball? As you know, sirs, when you appointed me Secretary of the Posterior, that placed me in command of the Department of Homeworld Security. I didn't know we had one of those. Did you, Max? Heck if I know! As soon as they gave me a button that shoots ballistic missiles and a hotline to Mila Jovovich, I lost interest in everything else! <laughs> well, I investigate visitations from aliens, abductions, violations of the time stream, lost continents, myth and legends, that kind of thing. That's fantastic. What's the Homeworld Security threat level, Super Bowl? It's currently hovering between Candy Apple and Fire Engine Red, sir. Now keep you updated. <laughs> You're not from around here, are you? Guilty. You could tell by the accent, right? <laughs> no, I have traveled from a planet hundreds of light years away from your own. It was once a beautiful, swampy, and muggy world. The air dancing with swarms of mosquitoes. The stillness of the nights punctuated only by the mewling of infants and the drunken revelries of toothless secessionists. 
Its name would be impossible for your earth tongues to pronounce, but my people know it as Pensacola. Pensacola. That sounds So you're planning bad. to just find your magic toy and leave the planet peacefully, right? The Earth's Chamber of Commerce has a selection of coupons for discounted dining and entertainment during your stay. Find my toy and leave? Of course not! <laughs> he laughs too much, shut up! Stay frosty, Max. This is the part where he loses it and rips his mask off or eats a live mouse or something. Roger that! I'll get my video camera! I would never leave without sharing the technology of my world with your backward but fascinating people. People. <laughs> All right, we'll uh, let you know if we find that artifact. After clearing it through the Department of Homeworld Security first. Just a formality. Go in peace. Go in peace. That's add to the subway, because why not? Subways are delicious. Subway is delicious, rather. Perhaps, I don't, I don't know. Some words and things that happen. What do we need to go down into the subway for? I don't even know. <gasps> it's a beautiful place full of Jeez, dash. The mole people are taking their own sweet time getting our subway station back into shape. Well, to be fair, they've been subcontracting to the Mutant Alligators Union. Those guys are notorious loafers. <laughs> notorious loafers, that's them. Investigate the pile of junk, please. It's too far away to see if there's anything interesting and or useful in there. Oops. Investigate, or inspect rather, baby Rosemary carriage. Rosemary keeps wandering off and leaving this thing behind. What's a rosemary? Oh, no! No, go away! Alright, so... Uh, reminisce about... The gumball machine. This broken gumball machine always makes me wistfully nostalgic for earlier times. Like that time we smashed this gumball machine. That was great. <laughs> like the time we smashed it. Contemplate wall of cartridges. The old people still haven't cleared away all those old mime sweeper cartridges. Clear them away? They're vintage collector's items. Mark my words, Sam. One day those games are going to be worth pennies. <laughs> So many pennies. Investigate Lincoln or contemplate Lincoln. Seven brides ago. It's a sculpture of Abe Lincoln's head. Sheesh! What will it take to get rid of that guy? He's not a real guy, Max. I can't be positive, but it seems to be made out of pudding. Is it the annual citywide pudding festival already? I feel unprepared. <laughs> the dialogue between these characters are amazing. All right. So, what? Sticks line, earthly realm, purgatory, we're on the straight and narrow, and then hell. We're so far from hell. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, enter mysterious hey, Any of you guys seen Charlie? He was supposed to be back by now. I have not seen Charlie, Mr. Random Person. Uh, consult sign. Starting to think our trains are not coming, Max. It's a good thing people generally wait for us to come talk to them before they do anything. Uh, okay. So I guess that's all we can do. Though these might be like e places for later episodes or something. I don't. I don't know. Obviously, we need to go onto the Schoon uh freaking ship, but I don't know if we're supposed to do anything before that. So it's worth a look see at these other. <laughs> Read bad news or read worse news? Let's let's do the bad. Aliens news. invade city. Wow, those newspaper guys are getting pretty aggressive with their up-to-date reporting. Eh, they probably just write a bunch of alien guerrilla stories in advance and just change the dates. <laughs> city dirtification project a resounding success. Mayor credits New Jersey's rich supplies of rust, grime, crud, and skank. Huh. Wonder if those will be around more, because those are kind of funny. Read bad news or read worse news. That's hilarious. You know what I'm hey, stinky. Oh, maybe that's stinky. No, that's definitely not stinky. Ah, Stinky's Diner—the perfect place to catch up with old friends. 
and meet new ones, like emergency medical technicians and the friendly folks at Poison Control. <laughs> Use payphone. This phone only accepts Dutch Gilder coins. Sorry, Sam. All I've got are some yuan, a few euros, and six bucks in Italian lira. Where do you keep all that change? In my sock, of course. You're naked. Where do you keep your sock? That's none of your damn business. <laughs> Is anybody going to eat this? That's Strawberry? none of your damn business. Beet juice and ham. Delicious beet juice and ham. A long coil of rope might be useful if it weren't made of fiberglass, varnished, and bolted to the floor. Oh. Hi, Stingy. Oh, hi, Barney and Jug Jug. Run Stinky's Diner in Grandpa Stinky's absence. Voted least trustworthy business owner in five years' Barney and Jug Jug? Ugh, you're not even trying with the names anymore, are you? Look, I've got a lot going on. Can I just give you your key or your crystal shard or whatever it is you're looking for so you guys can go off and do whatever it is you do? Yes, please. Sorry, Stinky. We gotta go through all the questions. It's the rules. It is whatever. the rules. See, I have three questions at least. Okay, let's see. I'll take a double bacon cheddar butter deluxe, heavy on the wacky sauce, two orders of the jalapeno cheesy poofters, Rhode Island style. No, three! Okay, three. And let's throw in one of the eight bean casseroles with extra onion rings and finish it off with a jumbo sized frosty banana mint pickle cyclone chugger with extra jimmies. Small side salad, please. Oh, and some bangers and mash. Hold the mash. I'm on break. Oh, what a dummy. What happened to your fry cook? Yeah, what was his name? Sal or Pablo or Muhammad or something? You boys must be mistaken. It's always been just me here, working the kitchen. No one else. <laughs> That's why I'm so grateful Grandpa Stinky's back. Oh, Grandpa Stinky is back. The aliens have landed. Oh, really? I haven't heard anything about that at all. Yeah, he sarcasm is not a good color on you. 99.8% sure he's evil. He's not even human! Neither are we, but that, that's... Things must be easier now that Grandpa Stinky's back. Oh, yes. It's heaven. Look at what he's doing to the place. He's totally destroying the ambiance. Yeah, this place used to be an aggravated assault on all five senses. Now it's just a misdemeanor battery. Six <laughs> senses, Sam. You always had the uncanny premonition of severe stomach upset in your future. <laughs> you and Grandpa Stinky should patch things up. Can't you see what it's doing to Max? I hate it when they fight! <laughs> oh, I don't think Grandpa Stinky is going to be a problem for much longer. Intriguing! I signed us up for relationship counseling and a business management seminar. No. Oh. Ow! Oh. <laughs> See you again soon, Stinky. Yeah, take your time. <laughs> go, take your time. We'll go examine pie. Ever since Girl Stinky took over the kitchen, Stinky's signature pies have gotten marginally more edible. The insect bits give the dough that extra bit of crunch. <laughs> Hi, Stinky. Pick up demon broth. Ooh, you'd like to steal my super secret demon broth recipe, wouldn't you? I well, would! Hands off! Well, hands off, I'm sorry. Oh, good. You two are back to barrage me with your inane questions. They're only inane if you think about it. Cantagra's owner of Stinky's Diner Expert and Evil and Demonic Recipe is something on the stinky. third line. Do the health inspectors ever make you wear a beard net? Oh, what about this demon broth, Mr. Stinky? Oh, you'd like me to tell you about my demon broth, wouldn't you? So I would! Steal another patent! I would well, like to steal another patent! About that, are you? that was like 30 years ago! In that 30 years, I could have been living off the riches from a gooey molasses tar cake. That sounds you delicious! Tell us what's in it? If you're so curious about it, pick up a can I am curious after I've made it. a fortune selling it to every grocery store from here to Madagascar! I hear there are monkeys on Madagascar! What's so great about that demon broth anyway? What's great is that it's nutrient rich. That it's mine, and that I'm not letting you two parasites anywhere near it. Well, why wouldn't you let us? This recipe, I'll never need to worry about money again. 
You'll probably have to worry about money, but it won't be for a while. Sure, I'm glad to see you back working in this diner again after returning from a long time away to work with your granddaughter, who's also coincidentally named Stinky. Was all that really necessary? It was! So, Max is all short-term memory. I have to bring him back up to speed every once in a while. Ah! Giant talking dog! 